At the start of the movie in Mexico City in 1985, Treadway is riding like crazy whilst being chased through the police for having stolen something important. He got injured during his escape, so he grabs the car's lighter to cauterize the wound while still driving. Meanwhile Treadway's teammates Abel and Leona are in some other car, also being chased by the police at great speed. Treadway continues to speed up through the streets and when he sees there's also a helicopter coming after him, he starts driving in reverse and shoots at the helicopter to get rid of it. Then he takes a shortcut through a tunnel, making the wheels throw a bunch of bricks at the police cars and making them crash. After driving through various gates, Treadway reaches a bridge only to find the road blocked off. Not seeing any other choice, he tells Abel and Leona that if he fails, they have to look inside. Next he takes his hand out the window, as if channeling some inner power, and proceeds to jump off the bridge, letting the car fall as he grabs onto a crane. By watching him, Abel and Leona get distracted and end up crashing, passing out for a few seconds. When they wake up, they find a man in a suit pointing a special gun at them, so they hold hands and promise to find each other, at the beginning. Then they are shot by the man and the car explodes while Treadway watches everything from above. At that moment, Evan wakes up in his bed after dreaming about the whole car chase, claiming it felt as real as an actual memory. The year is 2020 and Evan lives in New York City while dealing with a serious mental illness that has him taking medicine every day. He's having trouble finding a job and today he goes to another interview, but the same thing as usual happens. The manager did a background check and discovered that Evan was once institutionalized after an incident at his last job where he broke the arm of a customer who harassed a waitress. Although he swears he's better now, he still doesn't get the job. Evan still needs money for his medicine and rent, so he spends the rest of his day forging a katana for a gangster. Although he has no experience as a bladesmith, he still is quite good at it, feeling as if he could remember a guy that did this before him. Later he delivers the katana to the gangster at his apartment, and the henchman tease him because they know Evan knows all kinds of random trivia. Evan asks for his medicine as payment, however the amount they offer is less than what they agreed. He wants to fight for the deal they made, but he is immediately threatened with a gun. Meanwhile the gangster boss wants to test the katana, so he asks his girlfriend to stretch her arm for him to cut. Refusing to allow such a massacre, Evan jumps in and takes the katana, using it to cut the hand with the gun and to hold the boss hostage, which stops the other henchmen from shooting while the girl runs away. On his way out, Evan takes the medicine with him, then runs out of the building as the henchmen come after him with open fire. Hearing the police nearby, Evan climbs over a wall and suddenly freezes as he has a vision of a cliff covered by snow, where Treadway is hanging on the edge with Leona. Confused and dizzy, Evan falls off the wall and lands painfully on top of a car. Meanwhile Evan is being watched by some mysterious organization. A scientist named Porter checks a detector for the location and sends a girl named Nora to rescue Evan. Sometime later, Evan finds himself arrested for carrying illegal medicine. While waiting in the interrogation room, suddenly a man called Bathurst enters carrying the katana. He doesn't seem to be a cop, but he expects Evan to recognize him, mentioning old meetings that Evan doesn't know about. Bathurst seems to know everything about Evan's life like the fact he wrote, look inside, on his chest when he was a teen and the time he tried to end things for himself with a car crash, for which Evan got a steel plate in his skull afterward. Then Bathurst takes a bunch of items out of a bag and asks Evan which one belongs to him. Evan doesn't recognize anything, so Bathurst begins taking out bullets too, leaving them on the table and only putting one in his gun. Then he keeps asking the same question, and every time Evan answers, I don't know, Bathurst pulls the trigger. Terrified, Evan begins touching the objects and finally finds one that triggers a bunch of visions in his mind. Bathurst is delighted Evan is finally reacting and reveals that there's no bullet in the gun, saying Evan taught him that trick and calling him, old friend, even if Evan insists he doesn't know him. Suddenly a car crashes into the room and Nora comes out, shooting a few guards before shooting the handcuffs to free Evan. Bathurst comes after them with a truck. Sonora makes another wall explode to take Evan away by driving through the cop's office. A chase ensues through the building, and after destroying a bunch of rooms, they reach the road by jumping through the window. Bathurst is still coming after them. Sonora reveals the car is very advanced and activates a wheel for Evan to drive while she shoots an explosive at the cops that are following them. The police are opening fire too, but the car is bulletproof. When the bomb goes off, all the police cars are pushed away and so is Bathurst's truck who can't chase after them anymore. Sometime later, 
they arrive at a warehouse where an airplane is waiting. Evan doesn't know the girl, yet Nora also knows lots of details about him. She explains that the reason why he has skills he never learned is that he is an infinite, meaning he has the power of reincarnation and that all his recurring dreams are real memories from his past lives. Evan refuses to believe it, saying it's just part of his psychosis, but he accepts to leave with Nora on the plane when she promises answers for all the strange things he felt in his life. Meanwhile Bathurst is conducting a strange ritual in his face covered with a cloth while the water keeps pouring onto it, which makes him scream yet he keeps asking for more. His assistant Shin comes to tell him Evan has left on a plane, and Bathurst sends her to go after him because he's the key to finding the egg. Back to Evan, he's on the plane with Nora, who tells him the whole story. There are less than 500 infinites across the world, and they are split into nihilists and believers. Nora belongs to the believers, who think it's their responsibility to make the world better with their gift. Bathurst is a nihilist, and he wants the world to end. Soon they arrive at the hub, which serves as headquarters for the believers. While Nora explains that Evan worked here in another life, Evan notices some people practicing martial arts with Kovic and Trace, and some of them bow to him. Nora explains they hope that Evan is the reincarnation of Treadway. Then Evan is taken to the office that used to belong to Treadway, where he finds a picture of him with Abel and Leona. Nora explains that she's Leona's reincarnation, and Evan's vision of the snowy mountains was the day Treadway saved her life. Afterward, head of research Garrick shows Evan some more details by revealing a hologram of Bathurst in previous lives. It turns out he and Evan used to be friends, but Bathurst lost his faith and now considers reincarnation a curse, so he wants to get rid of his power. A new hologram shows Evan how the world is destroyed as Garrick explains that Bathurst set up a research center where he developed a magic egg. This egg is a powerful weapon that can exterminate all life on Earth. That way there's nothing for him to reincarnate into. Before his death, Treadway stole the egg to stop this evil plan, however he took the location of the egg to his grave. They need to find it first, so Evan needs to remember his past lives properly soon. In the meantime, Porter is in his office when suddenly his hands get shot by arrows. It turns out to be Bathurst, Shin, and their henchmen, who proceed to hurt Porter to make him reveal Evan's location. After they hit him and fill his mouth with honey, Porter still refuses to say anything, so a furious Bathurst grabs a special weapon and shoots him. Back in the hub, Garrick reveals they've kept Treadway's body in a crotonic acid matrix to keep the cells alive. She explains they're trying to understand an infinite's powers because Treadway pushed his abilities into superhuman territory, capable of manipulating energy. Evan should be able to do the same, so they put him through all sorts of focus training in order to fully recover his old memories, control his powers, and learn where the egg is. He's trained by Trace and later he fights against Kovic which brings back all his martial arts knowledge and allows him to easily overpower him in minutes. As he fights, flashes of Treadway fighting someone on the bridge keep coming back. They also connect him to a machine that should stimulate his mind and make him do lots of exercise because organs carry memories too. One afternoon, Evan finds Kovic working on the organization's armory, and Kovic explains he's managed to reverse engineer Bathurst's special weapon. When it comes to infinites, you can kill their bodies, but their minds will reincarnate. Bathurst has created a gun that implants a bullet in the head and pulls out the soul to lock it up in a digital chip, stopping it from reincarnating again. Over 200 believers have been lost this way already. Afterward, Evan visits Nora and discovers she keeps pictures of all her previous lives. A photo shows Abel and Leona, and Nora explains they love each other so much that they've agreed on a place to meet every time they reincarnate, so their relationship is as old as time. Unfortunately in Mexico, Abel got shot by Bathurst's special weapon, so he hasn't been able to reincarnate again. The next time they connect Evan to the machine, he sees himself as Treadway fighting on the bridge against a guy that turns out to be Bathurst's previous life. After exchanging many blows, Bathurst pushed Treadway off the bridge and stole his suitcase, but the egg wasn't inside. Evan's vitals suddenly begin spiking, so they have to disconnect him. Garrick thinks Evan's mind is fractured because of the car crash and the steel plate meaning the flow of memory is blocked. There's no other choice. They'll have to risk leaving the hub and seeking help from the artisan. Meanwhile Bathurst adds Porter's soul chip to his collection and orders Shin to find Evan soon. After the team leaves, a bunch of Shin's henchmen uses flying suits to sneak into the hub and begin shooting around to scare any worker they can find. Bathurst is there too and meets Garrick, who reveals they used to date in another life. At first she refuses to talk, 
but she has no choice when Bathurst threatens her assistant. Eventually the team makes it to a fancy casino and finds the artisan, who's doing experiments on a corpse. When the artisan hears Evan is supposed to be Treadway, he is happy to help and reveals a special machine that can reboot Evan's mind, but it could also kill him. Evan at first freaks out, but it's not like he has a choice, if they don't stop Bathurst they'll die anyway. While Bathurst also arrives at the casino and hacks a camera to spy on the team, Evan enters the device filled with water and soon his mind is flashing with the memories of the car chase in Mexico. Waiting for some kind of sign, the artisan prolongs the time of the experiment, pushing Evan to the limit until there's no pulse. The team immediately takes Evan out of the machine and assumes he's dead. While Nora cries and tries to do chest compressions, Evan's mind continues to visit all his past memories and finally finds the answer. He suddenly sits up, panting and tired but also announcing he has his memories back and confirming he's indeed Treadway's reincarnation. It turns out that when he said, search inside, he meant inside his own body because Treadway put the egg inside his wound while he was driving. All this is heard by Bathurst, who immediately sends his henchmen to steal Treadway's body. The team tries to rush out of the casino, but suddenly Shin shows up to shoot Evan and Trace. There are more henchmen coming, so the group runs to the elevator, where Trace dies. Devastated by this loss, Kovic decides to stay behind and fight to buy his companion's time. Getting access to the artisan's armory, Kovic waits for the henchmen to blow up the door and meets them with open fire, killing most of them. Then he jumps in to fight Bathurst hand to hand, exchanging multiple blows all over the room. Unfortunately Kovic isn't strong enough and Bathurst kills him with a special bullet. In the casino's parking lot, Evan passes out because of blood loss. Sonora leaves him with the artisan while she goes out to fight Bathurst alone. At the hub, the henchmen manage to steal Treadway's body. A few hours later, they bring it to Bathurst's estate in Scotland, where Bathurst immediately opens it up and finally finds the egg. In the meantime, Evan wakes up in the artisan's safe house and discovers his friend took care of his wound. When Evan hears Nora is out fighting alone, he wants to leave instead of resting to recover. In Scotland, Nora shows up outside Bathurst's house and tries to shoot him from afar, but he dodges the bullet just in time and sends Shin out while he activates a special machine that he uses to control his drones. Nora sees them and shoots a hook at one of them to jump off and land safely in the forest, where she begins running away from the drone's fire. Soon a bunch of henchmen comes after her, and she hits one to steal his weapon but no matter how many she shoots, more men keep coming. At that moment Bathurst's plane is ready to go, so he drops the drones to escape with the egg. Nora finds herself surrounded, but luckily Evan shows up in a car to rescue her while the artisan shoots at the men from a helicopter, causing a few explosions. Evan and Nora drive toward the house, only for Shin to shoot at them and make the car flip. They're both still alive, but Nora is now wounded. More henchmen arrive, and the duo moves carefully as they shoot and punch any man that comes closer, killing them one by one until there's nobody left. At that moment they notice Bathurst's plane leaving, Sonora sends Evan after it while she stays behind to destroy the soul chips. When she's about to enter the house, Shin comes out and begins fighting Nora. It's hard for Nora at first because of her wound, but soon she manages to overpower Shin and kill her with a knife. At that moment more henchmen come after her but the artisan returns in the helicopter and shoots them all. Afterward he helps Nora go inside and put explosives on the cabinet that keeps the chips. The artisan wants to take Nora with him, but she refuses, wanting to be here to free all those souls. Once the artisan is out, she promises to meet her boyfriend at the usual spot and makes the house explode. Meanwhile Evan rides a bike to chase after Bathurst, going up the cliff and jumping off to land on top of the plane, holding onto it with his katana. The bike slides off and hits one of the plane's engines, causing it to start losing control. Bathurst takes over the plane's control and makes it move like crazy, intending to make Evan fall. As he struggles to keep his hold, Evan remembers what Treadway did in his previous life and channels that power, shaking his hands as manipulates energy to make the plane fly steadily even without the engine. Afterward, Evan uses his katana to open the top hatch and get into the plane. When he's about to destroy the egg, he falls to the floor because it turns out Bathurst shot him in the head. However Evan soon stands up and takes out the bullet without pain, reminding Bathurst that he has a steel plate on his head. Afterward, the men get into a furious fight, exchanging hits all over the place. Thanks to having remembered all these powers, now Evan is capable of cutting off bullets with his katana. Then he tries to stab the egg again, 
but Bathurst quickly jumps in and disarms him. At that moment, the broken turbine can't take it anymore and the plane starts to fall, shaking the men all over the room. Bathurst tries to kill Evan with his own katana, but Evan overpowers him and takes it back. When the plane does a bad flip, the box with the egg falls off a hole made by the broken turbine, and Evan immediately jumps after it. Bathurst quickly follows him and the men exchange a few more hits before Evan pushes him away and proceeds to rescue the egg, hiding it in his body. Then he stabs Bathurst with his katana and steals his special weapon, shooting him with it so he can never reincarnate again. Evan and the egg fall to the bottom of the sea and Evan drowns, but he isn't worried because he'll reincarnate and this way the egg will be safe. Years later, both Nora and her boyfriend reincarnate and go through their new lives until their memories come back as teenagers. They are able to meet again in the usual spot and rekindle their relationship. Evan also reincarnates and grows up to be a remarkable martial artist in Indonesia. One day the artisan comes by means of and leaves Evan's katana for whilst the boy starts remembering. But the boy already has his reminiscences returned and asks the artisan what took him goodbye. Thanks for watching please like share subscribe my channel.